Hi, I'm going to talk to you about the difference between FK and IK in the 3DS Max cat rig. So if I take a look at this model here, I choose the arm, and I rotate the arm, you can see that the arm moves in a nice arc shape. Rotating it in this way, and then rotating the next joint, and so on, is called FK, or forward kinematics. The advantages of FK are that it's very easy to get a nice arc kind of movement. The movements are very naturalistic. The downside of FK is if you're trying to accurately position the hand, it's very difficult to get it exactly where you want it. You have to keep adjusting like so to get it in exactly the right position. So the way around this is to use IK or inverse kinematics. So if I was to grab the hand here and move the hand, you can see now that the arm is moving in IK mode. I can position the hand exactly where I want and rotate it to that as well. The advantage of this, of course, is that I can put the hand exactly where I want it, but if I move it from there to there, I don't get a nice arc. I get this very unnatural movement. IK is useful when you've got your hand attached to another object, or leaning on a table, or hanging onto a bus, or of course if you're painting a wall or something, because you can paint up and down. Catrig actually gives you both. Now the way it works is, if I come down here to frame 20-ish, I'm going to put on Auto Key, and I'm going to show you what happens when I rotate this arm up. You see it puts down two rotation keyframes and I get a nice arc shape there. I'll undo that. Now you might think that it would be completely different if I now move this up to the same kind of position because I'm now moving it in what looks like IK mode. And in fact, when I look at the keyframes, I still get a nice arc. I can see that arc if I turn on trajectories there. I still get a nice arc, even though I picked up the hand and moved it in IK mode. And the reason is, is that it doesn't actually matter how I position the arm to go from pose to pose. This arm is in FK mode. So whatever keyframes I put on it, it's always going to animate with nice arcs. By contrast, if I do the same exercise with the leg, I take the leg from here, and on frame 20-ish, and I move the leg up to there, you can see that it does it in a straight line, and not a nice, nice arc like the arm. So if I now look at the motion of that, you can see that the leg is much more unnatural. It's not swinging out like it would be if I just kicked a football. It's lifting up, and the foot is in fact following a straight line. That's because the leg is in IK mode. Now I'm going to delete all of those keyframes. The difference between FK and IK in CatRig is very important. As a default, arms are always FK and legs are always IK and that is why you have this rectangle on the floor which is the IK target. Wherever I pos position that rectangle the foot is going to try and reach. Even if I go too far the foot will point towards it. That's how IK works.